All right, I wanted to do a, a little video about what happens with the mi the mine lab Eureka Gold when you get to some soil that's highly mineralized. And uh, well, I don't know if it's just mineralized or if it's salts or what, but what will happen is you'll bring the uh, detector over it, and it'll be in the stream. You can tell there's some hot rocks here. And it's screaming now. Pretty loud. I should only be doing this near metal. I'm going to move it around a little bit more. You can tell it's really screaming there. But I can guarantee you there's no nuggets in there. It'll do it over most of the soil. Now really the detector shouldn't be going that loud unless it's over like a piece of metal like this. You can tell it's up, it's uh, setting it off right now. That's just the little pick I use. But you can tell the soil is consistently setting it off. So now I'll let you know that even if you recalibrate it, you're probably still going to have this problem. So what I'll do is I'll turn it off and turn the threshold all the way up. I'm going to put it into fast track. I'm going to keep it at 20 and then boost signal on. I'm going to turn it on right over where I had been screaming, right about here. And I'm going to start to pump it. Okay, now I'm going to put it back to fixed. Now we're going to go over this material again. Now what you're hearing now is you're going to hear a delay, so it, it does help out if you recalibrate it, but it's still going to scream over this uh, these minerals, or whatever is setting this thing off, if it's uh, minerals or salts or whatever, but it doesn't seem to be hot rocks. So you notice how I can sweep it this way, and it goes off immediately, and then I sweep it this way and it doesn't really go off. So, so it doesn't really go off the same way. It's, un it's, it's inconsistent is my whole point and that's a, just a sign of you being over highly mineralized soil or hot rocks or something like that. Now even when I bring it over this uh, this pick here it's going to be consistent with the noise it makes. It's starting to set off. It's probably about 18 inches away. And it's going to make that noise consistently. and It's not going to be delayed at all because it, it recognizes that it is metal. The cool thing is that when you're not in mineralized soil that you can get some stuff that's buried pretty deep just because you can hear a little bit of a distortion. when you're further away from it than uh, when when you're near this mineralized stuff and it's uh, uh, setting it off. That was just, <laughs> that's part of my uh, my uh, headset right there, the uh, speakers I'm wearing. But you can tell with the inconsistencies of how the Mind Lab Eureka Gold delays the sound it makes. It might even get loud. Um, pretty loud, but it'll delay the sound it makes and it'll kind of be a little bit of an inconsistent signal. It won't, it'll be a sporadic sound rather than when you bring it over some metal. And it'll always make a consistent noise, especially if you bring it closer to it. So make sure that you if you have this detector that you draw that distinction and remember that it is a, it's going to be a better detector than like a gold bug too because it can go deeper a lot deeper on sensitivity mode and it can get the same small stuff that the gold bug 2 can get so 
Just remember, you have those two good, those things going for you when you get the Eureka Gold. Um, it'll get smaller gold. It'll go off on smaller gold than like a GPX model, like a GPX 5000. So uh, those are just a few thoughts that I wanted to leave you with about this detector. And uh, hopefully I can find some gold and post the video about that.